Okay, it is time for Iron Man 3, and I never changed my lights. Let's see if this works. Groove blue. Aha! Ah, oh, that was that's a lot of pressure. Okay, so yeah, we've got a Iron Man 3 matchup. This one is kind of... I, I made a couple of modifications, but this is... The, the core of this game was... Uh, determined or suggested by Moby Dick ate my leg, which I love. I love the name. Uh, so Iron Man three is after the Avengers, I guess like Thor dark world was also after the Avengers as well. Six phantom ordered that villain board from by the same token right before they increased their prices and got their notification that it's out for delivery today. Nice. Good timing. Excellent time. Yeah. Their prices jumped a lot. And so I'm very happy that you were able to grab it before it, uh, it jumped up. It's really nice. It's really nice. It stands up. And so I have it laying flat just so you all can actually see what I'm playing. But it does pop up and stand up. And that is, that's very, very nice. I really like that feature. But it just, I mean, all the tokens fit so nicely. I usually do damage here, but I have the digital counters when I'm streaming. Ah, good. It's so good. Um, yep, so Iron Man 3, after the... Avengers, so all the New York sh stuff that happened. Uh, Tony's not in the best of places. And so when he gets confronted by the Mandarin at that time, he is kind of, um, yeah, I mean, that, that that's kind of the premise of the movie is he has to fight this Mandarin. Turns out the Mandarin, uh, at this point, spoilers are off the table. It's been out for 10 years. So sorry if you haven't seen it. Uh, the Mandarin is not actually the main uh, villain of the story. He's a hired actor. And then once they figure that out, the real person is somebody that Tony kind of blew off, I don't know, 15, 20 years prior to the movie happening, who has since developed some technology that is a little bit unstable. People are blowing up. And that's kind of the idea of the movie. And so in order to simulate that, we have a couple of different things going on. First off, Mystique is starting off in play. Mystique is... A oops, let me talk. Mystique is a uh, minion that says that players cannot attack the villain, and Mystique's scheme and uh, is equal to the villain's scheme, and her attack is equal to the villain's attack. So what this is simulating is Mystique is our Mandarin, where our real villain is actually not known to us yet, and so Mystique is taking on Sabretooth. Now Mystique also has victory one in this scenario. So once we take Mystique out, she is gone out of the game. We don't have to deal with her. And so, so that's nice. There is not the rest of the Mystique modular set in the encounter deck. It is just this minion. Sabretooth is out there because the main villain in, not the Mandarin, but the main villain that he blew off, which I am not recalling the name. So if someone has the name, please let me, please help me remember. Um, he has a healing factor. He, he can, he can heal. And so Sabretooth also has that healing factor. And so that's kind of what we're doing. Are you just playing Iron Man or do another hero? Um, for th for this one, I'm just doing Iron Man. Yeah. Um, and hey, how you doing? Yeah, so in a multiplayer game for this one, you could play War Machine as well because War Machine shows up in the movie. And so what I've tried to do in the outline of how these games can be played is kind of have a main hero that probably should be the one at the table. But then also the alternate allies, you can use their hero version as well if you wanted to play multiplayer multi-handed. And so War Machine is the only ally. No, he's not. Captain America. Uh, Hulk shows up in the post credit scene. So I guess you could use Hulk as well. Uh, <laughs> Hulk shows up in the post credit scene. I think I mentioned it last time. Captain America technically shows up in Thor Dark World. However, it is a Loki illusion. And so that's why I didn't include him in the available. Oh, are you doing another movie on stream? Oh, yeah. So this is the last one today. This is the last one today. <laughs> yeah, this is the last one today. Um, yep, so Sabretooth is after he activates, you discard the top card of the encounter deck, and you get he heals equal to the number of boost icons, which is so annoying. Um, we have Robert Kelly, protect the senator. I thought about taking this out, but there is the... Uh, time in the movie where the president is getting kidnapped and so that kind of also lends itself thematically to the matchup where they're on air force one war machine protects the president up there and so we're just assuming that robert kelly is the president at this point and the encounter sets that we're using we're using Sabretooth. we're using 
the mutagen formula uh, goblin soldiers. And so these are representing the people that have been taken over and are exploding. Um, this one was hard to determine. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, but I really, this is my favorite part, which is Moby Dick ate my leg suggested, uh, is like in the movie, there were people who blew up and everything. And so the goblin soldiers have the wind defeated ability deal one damage to the engaged player. And so kind of simulating that. And those are taking place of the evil doppelgangers from the personal nightmare set. And so we're playing with the personal nightmare set, um, because throughout the movie, Tony's really struggling with like a lot of PTSD and everything. And so that's trying to simulate that a little bit. Extremist soldiers. Thank you. Thank you, Armetheus. I appreciate that. And then finally, we've got the state of emergency encounter set. And so this is just everything is going on all the time, everywhere. And that that's kind of to simulate that the ex extremist soldiers. So there's a lot going on in this scenario. Iron Man, I think, can handle it. We are not playing a Iron Man protection deck, which very, very, very well could handle it. But we are going to be playing an Iron Man leadership deck because I think we... This is the third time... No, it's not. It's the second time because Iron Man 2, we played War Machine. So, yeah. So, Iron Man 1, I think we played... Yeah, we played protection. Iron Man 3, we're going to be playing leadership. And let's talk about that deck real quick. Get that all that shuffled up. I'm excited to get Mystique out of here. So, uh, we're running a Mightiest Soldiers Helicarrier. Uh, I actually I, I just pulled out all of the high cost cards to see if I could justify running Meditation. Let's talk about the allies. So we've got Hulk because Banner shows up in the post credit scene. So we're gonna be using Hulk, and then I'm I, I'm really happy with this one actually. <laughs> just uh. <laughs> Um, so one of the things that Tony does to kind of cope with his PTSD, he can't sleep is he's creating all of these Iron Man suits in Iron Man three. And so we're going to be running with the all available Iron Man allies, um, could totally do this one with War machine as another player. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, very much, very much good. And so we're going to have Iron Man and Iron Man. And Iron Man to kind of simulate all of the remote suits that are going on. And so we're breaking the uniqueness rule because Tony is not in these suits for this video. They're, they're over there. Hulk is going to listen to Tony uh, at the postcard scene. <laughs> um, when we're doing this Iron Man, I did want to lean into kind of the Voltron, which also kind of helps helps me think thematically, right? Because he's always constantly improving and making alterations to these iron man suits so we are going to be running voltron double iron man this is the this is the theory right um where we have kind of iron man all beefed up with all these modifications and is just doing a ton of work we got command teams to ready them do them multiple times and then we've got mighty avengers nice <laughs> innovation to keep them alive we've got uh, first aids to keep Iron Man alive as well. So we're going to be healing mainly this blue Iron Man. This blue Iron Man is way stronger than, well, the blue Iron Man is way stronger to keep in play. The, uh, war machine Iron Man wants to enter play first aids to keep Iron Man alive. We got plasma pistols to help with the ramp. Now we do have more tech upgrades. So these tech upgrades count towards Tony's ability where he gets the plus one hand size for each tech upgrade he controls. He controls these tech upgrades. So those are easier ways to get out. We got meditation just honestly, cause it's kind of fun. I don't know. Um, and then plan B because once we're, once we're up on, once we're ready to go, I think the two damage is going to be kind of nice to have once we have a seven hand size. So thematically, that's what we're doing. Hopefully, I have not... Okay, so since Sabretooth came out, Sabretooth came out in the Mutant Genesis box, since he has... Oh, forgot Hulk. Um, since he has come out, I have played him... I played him one time at Kana Heroes, but I really have not pulled Sabretooth out of the box that much. I Sabretooth, to me, is... 
is kind of a slog. I I I'm not a huge fan of Sabretooth, but I think Iron Man counters him fairly well because when you're facing off against Sabretooth, because he's healing so much, you don't want to ping damage. You want to have turns where you deal massive amounts of damage to him. And so I think this deck and Iron Man's just play style, where he's very much a hold, 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 go face, is gonna be a gonna be a good way to counter and just deal a significant amount of damage to Sabretooth so that he doesn't just heal it up immediately. Okay, so turn perfect turn one here probably looks like Iron Man and like a meditation, which with Tony's ability, his future's ability is not the end of the world. It's not the it's not the hardest. It's not too too hard to get. Let's take a look at this. So put find the senator side scheme into play. Attach Robert Kelly to it. When the attach find the senator senator Robert Kelly is in play, well, he's in play but under no player's control. This says, stalked by Sabretooth. So after resolving step one of the villain phase, deal two damage to Robert Kelly, or three damage instead if there is six threat per player here. While Robert Kelly is attached to find the senator, treat his text box as if it were blank. And if Robert Kelly leaves play, the players lose the game. Find the senator states that um, Robert Kelly cannot be healed by player card effects and cannot have upgrades attached. It would be really fun to Voltron a Kelly. Uh, when defeated, the first player detaches Robert Kelly from the scheme, takes control of him, and we advance to main, main scheme 2A. Flip this card and place it next to the main scheme, and then it just has ways that we can deal with that. Uh, when we've advanced to 2A, we get a face down encounter card, and then we lose if we thread out at 9. Mystique is at a 2-2, but she doesn't have Villainous, which is nice. Sabretooth is at a 2-2. They both have toughness. I'm thinking, unless we have the most incredible Marvel Champions Iron Man turn we've ever seen as our first as our first go here, we'll probably sit in Alter Ego. Because this is going to deal two damage to Robert Kelly. Then we'll scheme just a significant amount. And hopefully we'll be able to protect his health for long enough. Alrighty, let's see what we got. We've got a command team, we've got a helicarrier. Power Gloves, Command Team, War Machine, and a Supersonic Punch. Oh my goodness. War Machine is so sad. Uh, we're going to keep our Helicarrier. We're going to mulligan the rest of this. We we need... Like, we could... Power Gloves helps us with our hand size, but we don't have the ally that we want to attach it to, so we'll keep Helicarrier. We'll get into Rocket Boots. That's nice. Inspired. Give me Iron Man. Give me pictures of Iron Man. First Aid. Repulsor Blast 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And plan B. This is a rough couple draw. Okay. We're going to use our future stability so we get to look at the top three cards of our deck, add one to our hand, and discard the rest. So we got Strength, Stark Tower, and a Repulsor Blast. I guess we'll take the Strength? What are we looking at here? I mean, honestly, yikes. Ugh. I am I am not a fan of what, what is happening to this hand. Um, if we don't take the strength. No, I guess we, if we take Stark Tower. Three. No, we we can't. We have to take the strength. We'll take the strength. We'll be we'll be we'll be sad about it. Okay, we didn't. Yeah. Okay. So let's go strength and repulsor blast to play a helicarrier. Helicarrier will play a plan B, and then a first aid will play a rocket boots. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna stay in alter ego. We do get one hit point. Go team. Oh, I never set our hit points. We're at ten. Saber Truth is at fifteen. There we go. Okay. Do we keep inspired? I don't think we do. It's not a tech. I would rather just use that to help Mulligan more. 
Let's stand up. We've got Pepper Potts, beautiful. Mighty Avengers. Now all of our expensive cards. There's an energy. Three. Power Gloves, four. Five. Give me, give me Iron Man. Come on. Power Gauntlets. Ah. That was six, right? Two, four. Yeah. Okay. We're going to add one here. Sabretooth is going to scheme for two plus. If this attack defeats an ally, place two threat on the main scheme. It does not. So it's going to be two. Oh, and actually Robert Kelly is going to take two damage. Also, if Robert Kelly ever dies, we we lose. The president dies, that's a bad thing. Um, Sabretooth is going to heal for three. That's actually nice. I would I do not I did not want that as a <laughs> encounter card. Uh Mystique is gonna scheme for two. Our encounter card is going to be a cutoff guard. Discard an upgrader support that we control. It's gonna be plan B. I'd rather have the hand size here. Okay. Let's futurist. We got rocket boots, power gauntlets. First aid. Very sad. Very, very sad. Um, Mighty Avengers, Pepper. We got Power Gauntlets. We're going to take the Power Gauntlets. Okay. Oh, I forgot we had the... Yeah. So let's use a... Let's use a Helicarrier and a Energy to play Pepper Pots. We can exhaust Pepper Pots to generate the printed resources on the top card of our discard pile. So that's going to be two to play Power Gauntlets. And we're going to use Power Gloves and Reinforce Suit. Yeah, we're going to have to. I hate it, but we're going to have to uh, to play power gauntlets again we're we are going to sit down here one more turn we're going to sit down here one more turn we don't have any allies i don't know if i can take the onslaught of four plus a boost card robert kelly is going to take the damage regardless i would like an arc reactor i would like to be able to take this next turn and in order to do that i do think i need to stay down one more turn we may just lose and that's also fine hey data dude how's it going we are all of my good cards at the bottom of my deck. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. I'm going to hold on to Mighty Adventures. Reinforce Suit. Give me Iron Man. Okay, Hulk is not bad. Supersonic Punch is bad. Inspired. Give me Iron Man. Meditation. Two, four, six. All righty. Maybe Futurist. <laughs> Sounds like every card game I play. <laughs> right? Right? Okay, we're going to go one here. Deal Robert Kelly three damage. Sabretooth is going to scheme for two plus attach this card to Sabretooth. His attack scheme piercing, and he gets plus one attack. And then Mystique is going to scheme for two. That's four total. And counter card is going to be... Deepest Fears. When revealed, discard cards from the top. No! Number of identity specific cards. Number of cards in your hand. So that's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Six. Blue Iron Man's in the bottom six cards. Uh, if at least one identity specific card was discarded this way, place one threat on the main scheme. That's honestly not bad at all. There we go. Uh, if no identity specific cards, take one damage. Alrighty, okay. Let's uh, let's futurist this thing. Mark five armor. There he is, Iron Man, and a Mark five helmet. the f The helmet would be nice, but I think I have to take the armor, which also means arc reactors in the bottom three. Okay, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Robert Kelly is going to be one away from death. I think we probably lose. But here we are. 
Um, okay. Let's go Pepper and Iron Man for Meditation Iron Man. We'll go Inspired on Iron Man. And we'll go Reinforced Suit on Iron Man. We get to reduce the cost of each upgrade played on Iron Man by one. We're going to flip up to Hero Form. Iron Man can thwart for three right now. If we play Mighty Avengers, he can thwart for four. Which I am more interested in getting Mighty Avengers out. So let's go. It's either Mighty Avengers or Hulk. And so it's like, I think I need to get Mighty Avengers out. I can take the damage. So Helicarrier, Supersonic Punch, Hulk for Mighty Avengers. So each one of our Avengers has plus one thwart and plus one attack. Allies, that is. So we'll thwart for four. Take one consequential damage. Power Gauntlets will knock off the tough. Power Gauntlets will do one damage. I think we lose. Because he's going to have one health. We'll see. We'll see. We'll stand up. Got three. Deal out a card. I'm at one, two, three, four. So I have a five hand size right now. Because I get plus one hand size for each tech card I have. One, two, three, four. Yep. We got it. We got this. <laughs> There's so much threat on this. <laughs> If I could get the helmet, that would be pretty nice. Hey, there's the arc reactor. Three, plan B, four. Oh my goodness, come on. So many resources. Okay, so we're going to add one here. Deal three damage to Kelly. Sabretooth is going to attack me for three plus a boost card. will take three plus three is six nine so i have to defend mystique's attack and i'm down to one health and he's gonna heal for two okay we uh no i'm down to two health i'm down to two health because of the rocket boots so i took three six nine no i'm down to one health no because i defended Jeez, okay. Oh my goodness. Encounter cards. High Pursuit. Win reveal. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play engaged with us. I actually don't even know if there are minions in this deck. No, they're, they're the mutagen minions. Yeah. Goblin Soldier. Comes in with three. And we've got Feral Rage. When defeated, Sabretooth attacks the player defeated the scheme, even if that player is in alter ego form. Comes in with four and a crisis icon. Yikes. Okay, then. <laughs> so how's everyone? How's, how are y'all doing? Um, yikes. That's one of each resource. We could do that. No, we can't. I need a lightning. I, I need to play arc reactor. Let's go strength for an arc reactor. We'll use arc reactor to ready Iron Man. We will go ahead and thwart here. I'll find the senator. So after your hero defends against an attack from Sabretooth, ready to or spend two resources of any type, ready your hero. Only the player who controls Robert Kelly can trigger this ability. We're going to move to stage two. Deal ourselves an encounter card. And then when completed, defeat Robert Kelly. Okay. 
<laughs> it's not good. It's not good at all. Um, Robert Kelly, I control Robert Kelly. And in, when an enemy resolves an undefended attack against me, we have to... Uh, 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 we have to kill Robert Kelly. Iron Man, no, we can't, we can't, we can't thwart, we can't thwart Feral Rage, because I can't, I can't take the hit. Ugh. Um, let's go Rocket Boots to play Meditation. So I have Ariel, so we'll go 2, 4 to Mystique. We'll Helicarrier for a plan B. We will plan B to deal two damage to Mystique. Wait, uh, two, four, six, seven. We're at two, three. Yeah, we'll have Iron Man kill Mystique. She has victory in this game, so she is not coming back. We have the Goblin Soldier still. Oops. Did not mean to look at that, but that doesn't do good things. Actually, Iron Man has way more attack. So actually, plan B, because he has the plus one here. No! No, this doesn't work at all. Because Robert Kelly doesn't have the Avenger trait. My mighty Avengers is foiled. Hilarious. Okay, well, when we lose this, we're gonna we're gonna sub that card out. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Did I even see my plasma pistols? Oh, they were they were both discarded with that with that encounter. Gosh, that is so funny. Mighty Robert Kelly just foils the Mighty Avengers plan. Um We're two health. We're gonna flip down. I guess we could futurist. Is there any reason to futurist? We could pull something for Iron Man. We got one, two, three. We'll do that. Pepper will pay for a rocket boots. We get plus one hit point. Okay. Stand up. <laughs> Stupid mighty Avengers. We have six answers. We got energy, first aid, Iron Man, meditation. We're taking the meditations out of here. There's the Mark V helmet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Power gloves. Nice. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna add one here. Sabretooth is going to attack for or I'm sorry, scheme for two plus this attack defeats an ally. It does not, so just two. He heals. Goblin Soldier is gonna scheme. We've got Shadows of the Past. I saw that coming. Actually, we need one more because we have our acceleration here. I'm going to go ahead and put my tokens. Okay. So we have Imminent Overload. Comes in with four. And an acceleration token. We've got Whiplash. Who has retaliate one? I forgot to shuffle my obligation in there. That's fine. We'll shuffle it in. It's not, we're not making it too far in this game, I don't think. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Those get shuffled in there too. Okay. I'm so, I'm so mad about Robert Kelly not being an Avenger. I mean, it makes sense. Let's go ahead and heal for three. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I still have this card. Assault, Surge, into Animal Ferocity. He gains Stalwart. That is fine. We are not stunning or confusing him. Okay, so now we're healing. We're up to six. Uh, let's Futurist. We got Quinn Carrier, War Machine, and Command Team. 
<laughs> so I'm no longer allowed to use Tony Stark's hero ability or Tony Stark's word is his hero word. What do I want here? I guess command team. Do we use War Machine's ability? Would that be yeah? No, that'd be crazy. We could go. I I'm not super worried. I'm gonna take Command Team. I'm not super worried about my economy right now. Let's use. Let's flip up Arc Reactor to ready. Helicarrier for a helmet. Power gloves on blue suited. We will use rocket boots for meditation. So now we have aerial. We will helmet to go one, one, one. We don't get to take off the main because of our crisis. Let's do first aid and energy. To play War Machine's version of the word I'm not allowed to say. And I get to go get a tech upgrade and add it to my hand. Which is a... The armor is interesting. Yeah, we're taking the armor. So it's going to be more health. More health is always good. We're, we're not winning this game. Uh, Pepper, command team for armor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Up to 12. Stupid Robert Kelly. Killing my mighty Avengers. <laughs> We've got... Two... Three... Well, power gauntlets two here take the damage power gauntlets don't take it i need to figure out how to not lose this needs to go and i need to take an attack Which we may block with Iron Man. Oh no, I said it. To drink my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> which we may just block here. If we block here. No, I think we I think we take it. No, we have we have to defend because Robert Kelly takes it. If not. Which I think I messed up. I think I already messed that up, didn't I? I took an undefended attack when Kelly was next to me or was engaged with me, right? Or no, did I thwart it down and then Kelly engaged, came with me? I don't remember. Let's go ahead and thwart here. We'll ping tough. Damage. Sabretooth is attacking. We'll defend. So it's going to be three plus two. It's four damage total. One, two, three, four. He's going to heal for two. We will go ahead and thwart two here. Okay, let's stand up. Okay, I, d I don't think we're winning this game. If we somehow, somehow do, cool. I think 
what we'll do is we'll take out Mighty Avengers, take out Meditations, and see what we can sneak in there. Two. I'm at seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm at seven. <laughs> two, four, six, seven. Got first aid, plasma pistol, innovation, reinforced suit, Hulk. Okay. All right. We're going to place two. So two, four, seven. Sabretooth is attacking. Iron Man's going to block here. Yeah, so it's going to be three plus two. I said it again. We got a one. We'll block here. Just because Robert Kelly dies if we don't. <laughs> I can innovation. Nope, just kidding. I can't. Never mind. I was going to say, can I heal Robert Kelly with innovation? I cannot. Electric whip attack. Choose to either deal one damage to your hero for each upgrade you control or choose to discard an upgrade you control. Bye bye, rocket boots. Oh, no. Mighty Avengers is a support. I was like, get rid of that. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of our rocket boots. Okay. Arc reactor will ready. We will innovation to play for first aid to heal three. We will pepper pots mental resource for rocket boots to give us aerial. We will the one, one. We will thwart for two, three. Yeah, three. We'll ping a damage over here on the goblin with our power gloves. And we'll go here, here to kill the soldier. We take a damage whenever we kill the soldier. Hmm. I really am interested in throwing a reinforced suit on Hulk just to be like a, a tank for us. That could be kind of fun, if nothing else. If we do that, yeah. Well, I was like, I could play and be to hit Sabretooth, but he's not going to... We, we don't need... He's just going to heal it. Let's check and see if we've seen our advances. Is it going to be safe to flip it down? There's one. There's another one. So it could be safe to flip down. Let's go pistol, pistol for Hulk. Helicarrier for a reinforced suit on Hulk. Hulk's at seven hit points. We'll go ahead and thwart. Two, two here. We have three. Scheme for two plus a boost. So that'd be five plus a boost. I don't think we have any fours in there. We don't have an advance. We do have things that activate against us though. What do I want to roll down? What do I want to roll down? Two, four, five, six. I could heal if I roll down. I guess that is the, the nice thing. I'm kind of okay with where I'm at, though. So I'm actually going to thwart this side scheme instead. Okay. We're going to stand up. I guess we'll plan B to deal two to Sabretooth. I guess there is not a reason to not do that. Let's stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. We got 
two, four, six, and counter card. Whew, okay. We have it set up where It could, it could be fine. Two, four, six, seven. So there's a supersonic punch. I, I There's two supersonic punches right there. That's eight damage. That pushes Sabretooth to stage two. I mean, that's not bad at all. Um, you got command teams. You got repulse. I mean, mm, well, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We got uh, one here. Sabretooth is attacking. We're blocking with Hulk. So he's attacking for three. Resolve this card's win revealed ability. Resolve when each win revealed ability on each side scheme in play. If no win revealed ability was resolved this way, place two threat on each scheme. Two. And Hulk takes three damage. Encounter cards. Goblin Soldier. And Deepest Fears. Discard cards from the top of the encounter card or for we do seven. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Innovation is a little sad to see go. Uh, place one threat on the scheme if one identity card. Okay, I'm glad I didn't roll down because, geez, that was a lot of threat right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, ooh, and I forgot to heal. Sabretooth is going to heal one. I I always forget that 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 last uh Okay. We'll go ahead and pepper pots to give ourselves aerial. Is there any reason to not push him? I guess the retaliate one's really annoying. And he goes up to a three attack. I, I I don't know if we get any more, if we get any better option than what we have right now, though. So. Helmet for one. Okay, let's see how far we can get him down with just, like, Power Gauntlets is four. That takes him to ten. We've got Supersonic, or, mm, I guess Iron Man can hit him for two, three. And then Supersonic Punch pushes him. It'd be nice to have a Power Glove. Oh, we can. We can. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, like, let's try it, right? Power, power. That's four. One, two, three, four. Takes him down to ten. Iron Man will hit him for two, three. One, two, three. Power goes will ping the soldier. Go helicarrier. And Stark Tower to play Supersonic Punch to deal eight. So he comes in with toughness. And 18 hit points. Retaliate one. And then he has the healing factor again. We have five health, which is not as much health as I want. Let's go. Oh, we're not going to be able. We don't have enough money to play another supersonic punch. Which probably, you know what? Actually, maybe fine. Let's do inspired and power gloves to play command team. Command team we will use to ready Iron Man. 
Iron Man will thwart for two, three. Yeah, three. And we'll use Power Gloves to ping tough. Iron Man will thwart for two. We have Repulsor Blast. Let me do let me let me do math. So five we need eleven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We do not have enough cards to not get an encounter card and still play a repulsor blast. So that being said, I think I hang on to supersonic punch. Because that's eight damage next turn. We do not play in B. We flip down to Alter Ego. Do we? We actually may not. We may not. Because I don't think there's any reason to flip down to Alter Ego. I think we're good. I think we're good. We have to defend here, which is fine. So we can spend two resources. Uh, defense against an attack from Sabretooth. Okay, let's arc reactor to ready. Take this. We're going to toss a repulsor blast. We're going to hang on to supersonic punch and we'll stand up. We got supersonic punch. We got first aid, plasma pistol, meditation. That's four. Repulsor Blast is five. Strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for genius. Okay. We don't have a ton of damage. We have two. F it doesn't. Let's let's go through the villain phase. We'll see. We'll see here in a second. So we got one. Sabretooth is going to attack. Hulk will block. Um, we got three, four. Put Goblin Soldier into play, engaged with us. So four total onto Hulk. That puts him at just enough to kill him. That's fine. Ideally, we do not have another encounter phase. So, oh no, we're gonna have to block with Iron Man on one of these. We'll block with Iron Man on the other one because we Robert Kelly can't take a can't take a hit. Our encounter card is going to be Disaster at the Docks. Take three indirect damage. One, two, three. That puts us at two health. Actually, hold on. Let, let. Um. Iron Man has three, five health. No, okay, yeah, I have to take it. I may first aid myself. Okay. Um, let's go genius. No. Yeah, let's go genius for a plasma pistol. Actually, first, before we do that, we're going to use meditation for a first aid to heal Iron Man 2. 1, 2. Because I have a lot of attacks that I need to pull off. Okay. We'll use... Genius to give ourselves Ariel. And then we will pepper pots for supersonic punch to deal eight damage to Sabretooth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, we'll discard this card for his healing, but it, whatever. I always forget that. Eight, I take a retaliate one. Ooh. Um.
So he's at 10. Iron Man can hit him for two. Two. Because power, or two, three. Because power gloves, I, I don't know if power gloves actually activates before he would die. So we'll grim rule and say no. What, no Valkyrie today? Shield Maiden is a defense card. <laughs> yep, no Valkyrie. Um, when does she show up in the MCCU? Also, hey, Brent. Does Power Gloves trigger before Iron Man dies from Retaliate on Sabretooth? Or I guess before the Consequential kills him off? You know that? Okay, so I've got three health. Got two, four, seven. I guess we repulsor blast and hope for the absolute best. Let's do that. Let's repulsor blast. Discard the top five cards, which is only four. We've got one. So we deal three damage for the repulsor blast. One, two, three. Say it again. So Iron Man has power gloves attached. If he attacks Sabretooth, who has retaliate, he would max out his hit points at five. So retaliate would put him at four. Consequential would put him at five. Does power gloves take effect before or after the consequential gets added to Iron Man? I take a retaliate. I take an encounter card. Plan B is not an attack, so that could be looking it up. Thank you, Brant. Um, command team will ready Iron Man. Helmet will take one. Strength for a plasma pistol. Plasma Pistol deals one damage to Sabretooth, but it's not an attack. Power Gauntlets deals two. And I take one, so that puts me at one health. Four. So, if Power Gloves counts... No, no, I don't. I don't need power gloves. Instead of plasma pistol, I'm gonna give the villain back one. Instead of plasma pistol, I don't think it matters because we can plan B. Discarded this random card. I think power gloves would deal damage, but I could see it doing the other way. Doesn't. I don't think it matters. Plasma pistol plan B deals two. Iron Man deals three damage without power gloves, which gets us the win. There you go. That was that was crazy. Um, I enjoyed that. That was fun. Um, <laughs> I I'm gonna go back and look at the vod. If if I took that, I I I cannot remember if I took the undefended attack with Robert Kelly or it was right at right before I got Robert Kelly. So I'll have to I'll have to go look that up. If I if I did do that incorrectly. I'll play it again. Um, if not, I do have to run now. So unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be able to play it again right now. But I will go ahead and take a look and see see if I missed that rule. If I did, I'll, I'll, I'll replay. And hopefully not put all of my uh, bad cards at the bottom of my deck. And also, we're going to sub out R Mighty Avengers. Because I forgot that Robert Kelly is not an Avenger. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if, if I was remaking this deck, we would take out the Meditations and the Mighty Avengers. We move. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we would add. Um, rapid response or make the call is always an interesting call to just throw in there. You don't want you don't want any of them to actually. Oh, rapid response and war machines. Iron Man would actually be pretty nice because it's after he enters play. We can go grab a tech upgrade. So I probably grab. I probably put in two rapid responses. And maybe a third plasma pistol. Yeah. Or actually probably a third first aid. Probably a third first aid would be my modifications to the deck. 
But awesome. Thank you so very much for hanging out. I I have so much fun with these MCCU games. Um, they I they're fun to just break the rules a little bit and just have a good time. But I appreciate everyone for hanging out. If you have any suggestions on future games or whatever, let me know in the form that's either on the like Google Sheets presentation or if you uh, go to the description of the YouTube video, if you're watching after the fact, it's going to be there. Awesome. Also there, it's where you can log your game. So if you want to follow along, play along, it's all fun. I hope you do. Anyways, thanks so very much for hanging out and I will see you all later. Peace.